Okay, so now let us move on to the next question. Your question number four two. We have to integrate one upon one plus cos x. Okay, with respect to x. So here again we don't have any direct formula for this. So for this, it's easy. We can just uh, do the rationalization. So here. I'll multiply here I've got 1 plus cos x so I'll multiply by 1 minus cos x and divide by 1 minus cos x so down here I get a plus b a minus b right yes so I'll get in denominator I'll get 1 square minus cos square x and I know that 1 minus cos square x is sine square x yes and thereafter I can write this as this 1 upon sine square x minus cos square x upon this sine square x can be written sine x into sine x. 1 upon sine square x is nothing but cosec square x and this cos x upon sine x into sine x means here cot x into cosec x. Now if you see you know the integration of each term yes. So now you use the formula okay and you'll get firstly write them separately and then integration of cosec square x dx minus integration of cortex into cosec x dx you'll get minus cortex for this and here minus sign is already there and for this integration you get minus cosec x okay plus c where c is the constant of integration okay next is this you have to integrate 1 upon 1 minus cos 2x okay so if you see this denominator 1 minus cos 2x okay this 1 minus cos 2x can be written as 2 times sine square x. Okay. Try to recall the formula of class 11. Okay. So this 1 minus cos 2x can be written as 2 times sine square x. So 1 by 2 is constant, so it comes out, and this 1 upon sine square x can be written cosec square x. Okay. And you know the integration of cosec square x that is minus cot x. And plus c where c is the constant of integration this question you could have done this way also okay so here this you could have done by rationalization also okay like here it is one of one upon one minus cos 2x so you could have rationalized it so here it is minus so you could have multiplied with 1 plus cos 2x and divided by 1 plus cos 2x so in denominator you, you must have got this okay you should get this 1 minus cos square 2x okay and you know that 1 minus cos square 2x will be sine square 2x okay and then again you can write this separately okay 1 upon sine square 2x plus cos 2x upon sine square 2x okay simplify and you can get this also so there is uh, you by this you can see that it's not necessary that that you have to follow only one and only one rule okay there could be more than one way to solve that problem okay so whichever you find easy for yourself okay or whichever clicks first you can just proceed with that okay this is homework you have to do same as above question you have to do the rationalization and you'll be able to do next is integrate sec x upon square root of 1 plus cos 2x so here 1 plus cos 2x can be written as 2 times cos square x okay so after that you get square root 2 into cos x okay and this is sec x okay so this will become 1 upon square root of 2 into integration of sec square x and you know the integration of sec square x so just write the value you will get the answer then next is integration of 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x so again you don't have any direct formula for this okay but this if you see the numerator 1 minus cos x this can be written as 2 times sine square x by 2 by this formula okay this second formula and this denominator 1 plus cos x can be written 2 times cos square x by 2 yes these 2 2 cancel yes and you are left with tan square x by 2 now again if you see you don't have any direct formula for tan square x by 2 but this tan square x x by 2 can be written as sec square x by 2 minus 1 yes you know you know the integration of each terms okay so now you separate them and then 
from the formula list you can write integration of sec square x by 2 will be tan x by 2 and here it is constant is there half okay so you have to divide by half so you get this next is integration of sine 2x into cos 3x with respect to x again we don't have any direct formula for this but if I multiply and divide by 2 I'll get 2 sine 2x into cos 3x now again try to recall a formula from class of class 11 okay there we had seen one formula that 2 times sin a into cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b okay so here 2 times sin 2x into cos 3x okay here 2x is like a for you this 3x is like b for you so 2 times sin 2x into cos 3x can be written as sin 2x plus 3x plus sin 2x minus 3x here you get sin 5x and here you get sin minus x so that minus will come out so you get minus sin x now if you see you know the integration of each term over here so you write them separately and integrate you will get your answer okay similarly you have to do this okay so please go through it okay and you have done till here and you have to complete by yourself okay the remaining part you have to complete by yourself this is also same okay please do by yourself this is also same okay let's see this integration of a square root of 1 plus sin x okay so here you can see that 1 this uh, this sin x this sin x can be written as sin 2 into x by 2 this sin x can be written as sin 2 into x by 2 okay and this is 1 so this 1 can be written as sin square x by 2 plus cos square x by 2 plus and since we can write this sin 2 into x by 2 so this sin 2 into x by 2 will become 2 times sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 okay now this is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2 sin uh, 2 a b type yes so this can be written as sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 whole square in next step square root square root will be removed so you are left with sin x upon 2 sin x by 2 plus cos x by 2 okay you know the integration of each term over here write them separately integrate okay and you'll get the answer question 6 1 here we have got 2x square plus 3x minus 2 upon x plus 2 here you observe that in numerator degree is 2 and here in denominator degree is 1 okay so numerator is of higher degree okay so we have to divide the numerator by denominator so here 2x square plus 3x minus 2 is a degree of 2 and is a is a is a polynomial of degree 2 and x plus 2 is a polynomial of degree 1 so then divide the numerator by denominator so after dividing we get this okay so therefore we can write 2x square plus 3x minus 2 equal to x plus 2 into 2x minus 1 okay so in next step integration of 2x square plus 3x minus 2 upon x plus 2 can be written as this x plus 2 into 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 okay so here x plus 2 and here x plus 2 these two will get cancelled we are getting 2x minus 1 yes now you know the integration of each term over here so you integrate you get the answer again here you can observe that uh, degree of this numerator is more than the degree of the denominator so you have to do the long division so after dividing it here remainder you get 2x plus 6 okay you don't you, uh, you don't have to divide it any further okay you won't be able to divide it also because your remainder is of degree 1 and your divisor is of degree 2 so stop the division over here okay so your remainder is 2x plus 6 your question is this divisor is this okay so this x cube minus 7x plus 6 can be written as x minus 3 in bracket then into x square plus 3x then plus remainder 2x plus 6 okay upon x square plus 3x now you can write them separately so write them separately so in that case x square plus 3x and this x square plus 3x will get cancelled so you are left with x minus 3 over here okay and for this part you are left with this 2 is common in the numerator so this 2 comes out so x plus 3 upon x into x plus 3 okay so again x plus 3 and x plus 3 cancel 
So you're left with x minus 3 plus 2 upon x. Now you know the integration of each term over here, write them separately. So integration of x, integration of 3 and integration of 1 upon x. So you know that this will be x square upon 2 minus 3x plus 2 log uh, mod x plus c. Okay, so try this. Same here you can see the degree of numerator is more than this. So try this by yourself. Try this also homework. This is also your homework. Okay. Okay, so before we move on to the next question, try to recall this formula sine 3 theta is equal to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta cos 3 theta is equal to 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. So from the first, okay, from the first one, we can write sine cube theta is equal to 3 times sine theta minus sine 3 theta upon 4. And this cos uh, cube theta can be written as 3 cos theta plus cos 3 theta upon 4. Okay. So let us see this question 7, 1. We have to integrate sine cube x. Okay. So we don't have any direct formula for this, but we know that this sine cube x using this formula, okay, what we can write is 3 sine x minus sine 3x upon 4. Okay, now write them separately. Okay, here 1 by 4 is constant, so it comes out. So now in next step, write them separately. Okay. And you know the integration of each term over here, you know the integration of sine x, you know the integration of sine 3x. So integrate and you'll get your answer. Next is cos cube 2x. Okay. So same formula over here. You have to use this formula over here. Okay. So using that formula, we get 3 times cos 2x plus cos 6x upon 4. And then 4 is constant over here. Okay. So 4. In fact, we have written this separately first. Then 3 by 4 is constant for the first part, and 1 by 4 is constant for the second. Then I know the integration of cos 2x. I know the integration of cos 6x. Integrate and you'll get your answer. Okay. Next is integration of sine sin squared x into cos x dx. So here again, I don't know the direct formula for this but sine square x can be written as 1 minus cos square x yes then open the bracket you get cos x minus cos cube x now here we have got two terms we have got cos x and cos cube x so for cos x i know the uh, direct formula for this but for this cos cube x i don't have yes so firstly we write them separately so it's written separately so here integration of cos x here dx is missing so when you're copying it please write dx over here okay minus integration cos cube x dx now for this use the formula okay use this formula okay so by using that formula we can write this way yes then integrate this and you get your answer okay so this is all for this lecture